guys, Simba from Help and All Little Org, and I'm here cleaning Indian Keep Full with Kendall, Kaylee, and Sheriff Ramsey. I've been waiting a while to meet him. He's actually a really big inspiration to me. He's always been cleaning up the keys, and he has different cleanups with all the sheriffs. And I've just been really anxious to meet you, and now we're here. We are. We made it. What a beautiful day to be out here, and uh, thank you for uh, all your work, and it's nice to meet you and your team. That's great. There's no I in team, so the power of numbers is amazing. I mean, a lot of good people out here doing good stuff today, and I applaud what your ladies are doing. This is amazing. You know, we got to make the keys uh, clean and make it nice for us and all the future people. And what you guys and gals do are amazing. I thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here with you. We thank you. That's right. Um, well, we're gonna go clean up the beach, so we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Big brown bag. Perfect place for it, right? Yep. Hey, Hi. Kendall's mom. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> What's inspirational about the litter cleanups? Here's Donna, you're down in the, the mess the here, in the mangroves, cleaning bottles, which are hard to get with these things. Yeah. And it's just amazing. So and who are you, what's your organization again? Um, with the Friends of the Isla Mirada Area State Parks. We have adopted mile marker 78. So this is our first cleanup official, but I've been here many times before spending three to four hours just in this small area. Right. There's so much garbage. It could be washed up from the tides or it could be thrown here. A lot of it's left here from, yes. from people fishing and coming in from Miami. They're having their, their weekend you know, fun here and everything like that. Yes. And uh, I videotaped after New Year's and the day after they just abandoned barbecue grills. Everything else was just left out here. Yeah, I also clean Channel 2 Bridge so I know the garbage every single day. Nice. Well, you're doing a good job. We appreciate it. Okay. We're with upandallitter.org and we want to join other organizations like yours when you do cleanups and mm -hmm. help out because it's all of one world. We just got to fix it. That's right. Thank you very Take care. much. When it comes to litter cleanups, you have to remember to pick up not just the big things but also the little things. So those are the things that really matter. Those are the things that people see and they don't think will make a difference, but in the end it really does. Is that better? There you go. I got it. Perfect, good job. Oh, no, I'm good job, Kendall. Don't stand. I got it. Here's your... Whatever one you want. You want the long one or the short one? I'll take whichever one you don't want. Okay, okay there you go. <laughs> did you catch me almost falling? Where can you get? Oh, I was videotaping, so I probably did. I don't know. Where were you at? I was almost this falling, too. And I was standing here. Yep, well, I probably got it. If you'd have fallen it, it'd make a much better video. Let me tell you something. Corona Company, when I did the thing for the, um, the New Year's video, it was all Corona bottles. I don't know who drinks Corona, but it may coincide with the people who are creating the trash. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all know who that is. Anyway, um, Corona beer bottles, bottle caps. Corona needs to be doing heavy donations to nonprofits that are cleaning litter because their people are the ones who are creating the litter. Don't you agree? I agree. Yeah, is it is in there right now? Let me get it. I don't know, you probably can't get in there, but... Yeah, because it's going to be dark. You know that you can make something nice out of it? Out of what? Recycle. These bottle caps. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Well, you have plenty. If anybody needs bottle caps to say Corona, this is the place to get them. <laughs> hey, it's Rick with HelpingDollLitter.org, and I'm over here with Brianna. How's it going, Brianna? Good. Now, this lady is committed right here because she actually has her baby with her out cleaning, keeping in the shade, which is good. What's her your baby's name? Tom. Tom. Nice. Now, how old is Tom? He is seven months. Seven months, awesome. Well, look, man, it's just amazing you come out and clean, even carrying your baby with you, because it's, it's that important, isn't it? Yes, of course. Because you know what? Tom won't have a future if we don't clean up our present, right? Right. I just made that up. It's really clever. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Brianna. We'll see you later. from HelpEndOnLitter.org and today we brought out about 10 of our team members to do a cleanup with friends of the Alamorada area, area State, State Parks. Parks. Thank you. What's your guys' names? Uh, Phyllis Mitchell, Donna Hanson, Ann Baxter. Okay, you want to tell us a little bit about your organization? 
Sure. Uh, we are a support group for five uh, of the Alamorada area state parks. Uh, uh, help me here. Long Key, Curry Hammock, uh, Lignum Beatty, Indian Key, Key Quarry, Wendley Key Quarry. San Pedro. Oh, San Pedro. That's an underwater park. Excellent. Well, we appreciate what you guys are doing for the community. That's why we want to come out. Isabella brought about 10 of her team members out with adults and everything. And uh, thank you guys for doing what you do in the community. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of good help today. Uh, Coast Guard and uh, Sheriff's Department. Yeah, you can always count on those guys. They, yep. they come out, the keys. Y'all take care of your own, so you come out here and you yep. clean like you're supposed to. we got a bunch of people who are coming and messing it up, and all of us have to come clean it up. Yes. Well, we adopted the, this area so we can clean it at least four times a year. Excellent. Well, you can count on us, and hopefully we'll have more team members at the next one. Oh, to get the kids out of bed and be here at 8 o'clock is kind of a challenge. Um, so we thank you guys for your parents. Your parents are better than the other parents who didn't show up. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just thinking. Anyway, but you got, they always come. They, Kendall and Kaylee That's missed great. our first one, great. the first one we did. They didn't know about it, and they've been at every one since then. Excellent. And uh, not only the big cleanups, they clean up, y'all clean up every day, don't you? Yeah. To be a Hill Team kid member, Hill Kids, you have to clean litter somewhere every day of your life. Channel 2 Bridge every day. Nice, good. We're proud of you guys. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye from Indian Key Phil. Y'all mess it up and we have to come clean it up. So quit messing it up. So it stinks so bad so we can't stand closer to it, but that's the dumpster that we filled up along with um, two sheriff pickup trucks. So I just want to thank everybody that came out. Um, a lot of people got involved. Friends of the Alamrada Area State Parks, I believe is their organization name. They um, they organized the cleanup, so I want to thank them so much. And they got the Coast Guard involved as well as the Sheriff's Department, and they were all such a big help, and I'm so excited to be part of what they're doing here. I'm so happy that everybody came out, and everybody's making the Keys a better place to live. I'm so happy and proud to be a part of um, helping out litter, and I'm going to promise to pick up the trash every day. All right, bye, guys. Org and we're doing cleanup with um, friends of the Alamorada area state parks and uh, here we are.